privateering? Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Douse the flames! Get in there, you mongrel! Spanish, was it? Aye. In the midst of a hurricane. Just before the treasure fleet was smashed against the shore. Was the hall aboard as rich as men are saying? A thousand times that. I reckon a million pounds worth of reals was sunk that day. Devil! Love! Hurricane! If I have a dive there one day, see what we can rummage up. Diving them wrecks would be a nice change of pace for us. No need for violent actions against merchants and such. Well, that's some soft talk coming from a pirate. And as it happens, I must be agreed. We'll save the clashing of cutlasses for the military. And them that get in our way. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You just overheard a conversation between myself and Thatch with Adawali, Adawali chipping in and adding his bit as well. We're off to find the El Arca del Maestro and we've got some tricky winds blowing at the minute which is why I'm not at full sail. I think it's eased off a bit now and we are coming into dangerous waters so let's speed up a bit. Let's get across. Now when, you've given, when you're given a mission to find a ship and by god there is a big ship across there it normally goes foggy we must tread lightly. These waters are well guarded, sir. we've got to avoid other ships and stay undetected ah, now this is going to be tricky we've got a schooner coming in from the left that's a man of war there use the spyglass to identify your target That's the ship we're looking for. Tail the ship. That did no damage to us, it was too far away, but... Oh. That should be a sink. Desynchronized because we got detected. Damn it. Okay, so we're going to rerun that. Right, there's our target. Let her sail away from us a bit. We've got to keep her right on the edge of the minimap. And it's a lot harder in this storm than it looks. Especially with all these little boats flitting around. Now... Thatch did say on the beach in the last episode that this ship is fat and slow. So, I seriously doubt that using full sail is an option other than to get away from this ship that's coming in from the left and get out of its forward cone of vision. That ship that's just crossed right to left is a brig, the same type of ship as ours and probably better equipped it's probably got more guns than we've got Get those clues up. and there's another brig coming in from under the stern of the galleon 
I hate these missions, these tailing missions. Especially when they put you through the middle of a, a fleet of enemies. We've got to change sides. Get away from the forward view cone of that brig. Luckily, we've got no wanted reputation built up. This one is more about sailing with the minimap than it is about sailing with the main screen. God, there's brigs everywhere. If we get into a fight, we're in trouble. Even without that galleon getting involved. Whoa, it's going to see us. Turn, 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 turn. I need to let her get away a bit. She is way too close for comfort. Oops. Because as she swings around, those sideway vision arcs are proving a real pain. Let's just drop all sail for a second, give her a chance to pull away. All right. Drop sail. That arc's swinging too tight. Now we've got another ship coming in from top left on the minimap. Don't know which way they're going, but. It's another brig. I can see it over there, just behind our rigging. There's some loot in the water over there. Not that we're going to get a chance to go get it. There is loot ahead of us now, though. Might get a chance to get that. Unlikely. Not with the way that this galleon's sailing. It just needs to swing to starboard and we're going to be in that uh, starboard side view arc. We do seem to have left most of those brigs and schooners behind though. One piece of wood. Oh well. Every little bit helps. And somebody's fighting her. We've been doing this kind of work. Mortar area. When under mortar fire, the area of damage is represented by a circle on the water. The yellow circles announce incoming shots. Avoid them. When they turn red, you'll take damage. Okay. Avoid the mortar fire. Whoops. Have we got to join in with this fight? Or just keep tailing this ship? Whoop. The blue spot on the minimap is an ally. Right, bunch of ships over there, we've got to sink. Sink the Spanish ships, there's eight of them. Right, let's go for these two over here. Take the loot and the crew, we'll probably need it. This is very like the opening battle when we first captured uh, the Jackdaw. Fire! 
That one wasn't so good. Guns. Nearly got her. One more ball on target and she would have gone down. But five of the eight are down now. Be six in a second. There we are, there's six. for that island. I know the place. A natural stronghold used by a French captain named Ducasse. It's Julian Ducasse, the temple. Name's right. Didn't know he had a title. I know the man. And if he sees my ship, he'll know it from his time in Havana, meaning he may wonder at who's sailing or not. I can't risk that. And I don't want to lose that galleon. Let's think on. <sighs> Maybe wait till it's dark before hopping aboard. Use one broadside to sink two boats, use heavy shot to sink ships. We didn't get either of those. Ah, damn it. Okay, well, let's continue on, see where this leads us. Right, we've got a bunch of loot here. Oops, take the wheel. Um, right, let's get all of these castaways. We took a lot of damage. The jackdaw's down to one-third health. And there's still ships out here. We're going to need every ounce of loot that we can get. Now, we've got no instructions yet to follow the, um, the galleon. So, we can take advantage of this. That's a schooner coming in. We could really do with taking advantage of that schooner, actually. Because um, she would get the jackdaw repaired up full. Let's do that. Right, swing it, swing it round, get alongside. Came in a bit close there, might not get to use the chain, uh, the swivel gun effectively. Ah, we did. Good. Right, I want to uh, repair the jackdaw on this one. Take the reputation hit if it means we can get the ship repaired.
we're up to two thirds we're gonna have to do another one car goes behind us came out of nowhere get the bow into the waves come on get it over get it over get it over the rogue waves are far too frequent in this game just in case you were wondering They, um, in reality, they're uh, once or twice a decade. They're not every season like in this game. Did we see more cargo over here? I thought we did. Oh, there's a tornado. There's cargo up there. Two sets of cargo here. Right, now I need to check the map. Where are we at? I think we've got all the cargo. This area here that's greyed off is not available to us. We can't go in that cove. We've got to hold around up here somewhere. Guess I could always go and try to get that animus. There's a shark head, uh, a hammerhead shark up there as well. Although, what's this down here? Main mission. Have we got to head down there? If we've got to head down there, we'll head down there. Take the wheel. That's a long old sail. Where's Thatch gone? He's nowhere to be seen. That's not him sitting back there. Unless he's gone down to the captain's cabin and having a glass of rum. But if we step ashore down here and Thatch is on shore, it's going to kind of break continuity a bit, isn't it? Cargo ahead, we'll try and get that. I would like to get another schooner to repair the jackdaw, get her back to full health. that ahead of us. Is that another schooner? It is. and simple. Got 24 cloth, 10 rum and a crewman. Repair the jackdaw. Next one will lower our reputation. There's another one flitting around. If he wants a piece of us, we'll uh, oblige. Uh, there's a few gunboats floating around, but it's the schooner that I want.
Ah, damn it, we sank her. Oh crap, rogue wave coming in. See what I mean about the frequency of rogue waves in this game. And we took a little bit of damage off that wave. We didn't quite hit it square on. Oh my god, is that a frigate? It is. We don't want to be taking on frigates, particularly British ones. If we could swap ships, then I'd go for it, but we can't. It'd be nice to be uh, commanding a frigate. A little bit of fast travel, get there quicker. I really should look at the map and see what the um, what the lie of the land is here. So we're going to go to the left of the island and follow it round. Okay. Don't want to be aiming straight for the marker. Two, look at the location. Don't know if that's one of the um, royal convoys up there. It's unusual to see frigates Sounds like there's a water spout coming in. There is. There's two of them across there. Now, I don't know if we're going to meet the other pirates here, or if this is sending us in to capture that ship. Oh god, you had to come in at me when I was... when I'm locked in here, didn't you? Three, a single madman. Start the mission. Gentlemen. As is custom among our kind, we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. <laughs> the object of our attention is a square-rigged galleon, and we want her for the advantage she'll bring Nassau. So I'll put it to the vote. All those in favor of storming this cove and taking this ship. Stomp and shout I! Aye. Those who oppose, whimper nay. Never was the King's Council so unified. Oh, and somehow Kid has joined us. Right, optional object objectives. Air assassinate Ducasse. Health upgrade 2 can now be done in the crafting menu. Reach the jungle's exit. So I've got to go all the way up there. Well, before I do that, I'm going to go down and get that health upgrade because I've got a feeling I might need it. And to do the crafting when you're on ship, you've got to go into the captain's cabin. And it won't let me. Damn. 
Can I just get it standing here? It normally won't. Crafting. Health upgrade. See, it won't let me do it. It's available. I've got the deer hides that I need, but it's not available to me. Now, if we can get some jaguars while we're in there, that'll also give us access to health upgrade 3. Great white shark. We need to get a couple of those. Smoke bomb pouch. Hootia hides. Dart pouches. We need to get... Oh, crafting unavailable. Howler skin monkeys we've got. Killer whale skin we need to get. Bull shark skin we've got for berserk darts. Capuchin monkey we need to get some of those. Uh, sleep darts, black jaguar pelts we need. So if we get the chance, we need more black jaguar pelts there. Pretty much any pelt chances that we get, we're going to have to take them. Right, now we're coming very close to the end of the episode, so... All I might have time for is climbing that. Now then, I've got to reach the jungle's exit. Hmm. And that jungle's exit, the green dot on the minimap, looks to be quite a distance inland. Let's have a think. And we've gone into assassin mode. We've put our, our hood up. Now there might be chests. Oh, there is a chest over there. I was going to say, there might be chests dotted around in here. We need to keep our eyes open for them. Three metal. Okay. Metal's good because it means that we can upgrade the guns on the ship when we get enough of it. looking for the route through here it might not be in here oh it might be then that was a good climb right let's have a look around we want to get a is that a chest it is a chest down there no it's not it was a, a shadow on that corner of the rock damn it okay um, we can get back up there by using those swing poles. Failing that, we'll just climb up the wall on the other side again. In here, I think it's pretty obvious we've got to use this to do whatever we're going to do. Alright, let's have a look around. We've got to get across to that broken rope by the look of it, which means we've got to get up to that swing pole there. At a guess and take a flying leap across. So, yeah, up there. Up here, Animus. Excellent. There's a chest over there somewhere. We can't quite see it yet. Um, if we've got to make use of that and we can't use that, then we need a good run here. So, Pre-press shift with my paralyzed little finger. Run. Jump. Swing. Jump. That's the way. Whoa. Whoa, shit. Crap, I was not expecting that. Up you go. That kind of blows out returning this route. Oh, crap. Um... And I wish the mouse would stop swinging around as badly as it is. Still not quite used to this mouse. I've still got to get the DPI tuned in. Ooh, at least we caught that one. Oh, crap. Hmm, okay. And I seriously doubt it's going to let us go up there. Will it let us climb that pillar? And do we get any advantage by doing so? Doesn't look like we do. Um, don't know if we can reach that. We may desync here. 
and I may no we're taking health hits which is not good I would like to get to the jungle's edge in this episode just to finish it off uh, we can get up there we've done it before And that rope ladder having broken is going to give us a problem, isn't it? Let's see what we can do. Now, we've somehow got to reach that. Ah, uh, there's multiple poles. Ah, wait a minute. I see a handhold sticking out of there, look. Go on, up you go. No? Okay. Um, what about sideways? Yeah. There we go. There's a chest. Now then, can we get further up from in here? Hard, kind of hard to tell. I think we can. No, face that way, Edward. Turn around, face that way. It's not letting us. Ah, got it. Now, can we... Can we get further up there, or is it a case of we're now stuck? No. No. Looks like we're now stuck. All of this greenery that's growing on it is normally indicative of a blocker. So let's just... Yeah. Right, let's have a look over the edge. Can we drop down onto that pole, for example? Um, we can. If I get myself in the right position... crap this is the problem when you're playing with partially paralyzed hands you end up pressing the wrong key unintentionally And if I'm not talking much, it's because I'm focusing on the route that we've got to use to get across here. Now, I think we... There's a second pole there with two lanterns hanging on it, just to the right of my head. We've got to go up on that one, down to that one, and then across to that broken bridge. Oh... And it's the nature of these climbing and running puzzles that sometimes you have to do them two or three times before you actually get them to succeed, even when you know the route. There's a ledge there that we can side shuffle around. Get up the ladder.
Oh, that was lucky. That was very, very lucky. Now that ladder's got... If I jump that and I screw it up, we're back down and going around again. But let's try it. Got it. Well, this is a little bit further than we've been before. And I'm surprised it let me get past that greenery. It normally wouldn't. Right, phew, we're up on the top. Now we've got to get to the jungle's entrance. Which is over here. There's an iguana. We do need another iguana skin. There's a couple of them. Where is it? We're right on top of it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Right, we'll reload before we go on, just in case we get in a fight. Now, uh, just check our crafting menu. Wrong. Fact, it's not a crafting menu we oh hang on we can do that upgrade now let's get that done that's good any others that we can do while we're standing here no okay um i wanted to check my hunting inventory how many how many iguana skins have we got um, we've got three iguana, so a fourth one would be good, because you normally use them in pairs for your upgrades. It ran off. Okay. Um, I see an enemy marked on the map. Patrolling. Oh, the iguana ran off that way. Gonna be an enemy round this corner, isn't there? I'm gonna have to leave it there. We're getting a bit long in the episode, so while we're here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wind up this episode here. I'm gonna pick this up at the next one. Enemy might even be up there looking at the map. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for being here. Sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger, but it's gotta be done. I'll uh I'll see you next Monday. This is Gazbeard signing off in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, where we are trying to get to the jungle's exit on this mission to uh, capture that galleon. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.